3D Fuel, we are a materials supplier, so we make 3D printer filament for the FFF market. We are extremely innovative in our products. Uh, all of our product lines are environmentally sustainable, and we also um, produce really high quality and consistent materials. We have a couple of product lines. We actually have an algae filament, and our algae filament line has a really nice aesthetic, a really natural color palette. Uh, it's environmentally sustainable because we help to remediate nuisance algae and the global algae problem and incorporate it into plastics to make more sustainable plastics. The, the algae filament really has a, a more aesthetic purpose. It's more for the, the look and the feel of the material. It almost feels like bone or sandstone. Our other product lines um, are more practical uses. We have a flexible filament that we're going to be launching in the next couple of months that um, is entirely bio-based and biodegradable. You don't have to do any modifications to your printer and uh, it prints uh, very well and is entirely flexible. We also have another product line we're really excited to be launching in the next month. It's going to be truly a replacement for ABS. Um, it's bio-based, non-toxic, no toxic fumes, and uh, it doesn't require a heated print bed or a heated chamber. It has very, very similar material properties to ABS, so we feel like that's really going to be a game changer for the market. So sustainability is very important to us at 3D Fuel. I mean, that's the core of our business model. So much of 3D printing, especially in the desktop market, is prototyping or education, and so many parts get thrown away. So it's really important to us to provide materials that perform well, but are also environmentally sustainable. We hear of complaints all the time in the market that uh, people are having trouble with their prints, and oftentimes they try to blame it on the printer, but actually it's the filament itself. So really um, cheaply made or poorly made materials can cause a lot of problems for people and discourage them from truly innovating and moving forward in their 3D printing endeavors. So by us providing very consistent, very high quality, um, you know, we test every batch, you know, do a lot of quality control by us providing these materials, it really helps us to uh, make 3D printing more approachable and easier for people and help prevent problems. In 2016, we're going to be launching some really interesting exotic materials for the 3D printing market, but still also environmentally sustainable. Our team of polymer scientists um, you know, already has their product pipeline laid out, and um, we have some really exciting materials that you can be on the lookout for in 2016.